If you've recently serviced an AB760 or suspect your gauge has a leak, you will want to perform an isolation test. Here is a list of necessary tools and equipment for a successful test on both a two-port and single-port cylinder. For a two-port cylinder, begin by attaching the test gauge in a known good angled fitting to the liquid port of a known good clean and dry recovery cylinder. The cylinder will add volume which will provide a more stable rise at the end of the test. Then attach a known good vacuum hose to the vapor port. Attach the other end of the hose to a vacuum pump. Before starting the pump, remove one of the caps. Next, open the valves on the cylinder to ensure the setup is equalized at atmosphere. Then start the pump and put the cap back on. As the pump begins to pull down, ensure there is a steady fall from atmosphere down to below 200 microns. Please note, there will be a slight pause at 15,000 microns as the AV760's dual sensors transition into deep vacuum resolution mode. Once the gauge reads below 200 microns, close the vapor port. After closing the port, Turn the pump off and remove the hose. Then let the setup rest for 15 to 20 minutes. If the gauge does not rise above 500 microns within this time, this signifies that the gauge is properly sealed. For a single port cylinder, attach a known good valve core removal tool to the port. Attach the test gauge to the side access port of the tool. Then attach a vacuum hose to the main through port of the tool. Open the valve and turn the pump on. As the pump begins to pull down, ensure there is a smooth transition from atmosphere down to below 200 microns. When the gauge reads close to 200 microns, begin opening and closing the ball valve to release any residual air molecules. Because vacuum doesn't equalize like pressure, there are residual air molecules trapped within the ball valve and ball valve seals. Opening and closing the ball valve helps these residual air molecules evacuate. This process will take a considerable amount of time and should not be rushed. The longer you perform this action, the more stable your rise will be. Once the gauge reads below 200 microns with a closed ball valve, remove the hose and let the setup rest for 15 to 20 minutes. If the gauge does not rise above 500 microns within this time, this signifies that the gauge is properly sealed. When we compare an acceptable rise to a leak in the setup, you will see that the acceptable rise will be slow and over time will equalize. A leak will show a rise all the way back to atmosphere. Remember that this test should not be rushed. Experience will lend itself to quicker evaluation times. If you have any questions about your AV760 isolation test, please contact Appian directly.